It's a privilege to be joined on the summit today by the new head coach at William Penn, Coach Mark Benavidez, who was named the head coach on December 22nd. And Coach, congratulations on the new job. Let's just start right there. Yeah, I appreciate it. Thanks for having me. Uh, extremely excited moving forward here. Coach, you had your first press conference uh, as a, as the head coach at William Penn just this week. And one of the things that you mentioned there was the phrase sustainable success. And I think that's a, a really good phrase. You have a new challenge, new things in front of you. Talk about your new challenge there, at William Penn. And, and what does that phrase mean? Yeah. First off, I'd say sustainable success is something where, um, you know, everybody wants instant gratification and, um, you know, everybody wants that uh, instant weight loss or whatever it might be. <laughs> and it's something in which you got to find a spot and find that that middle ground, middle road in which um, you can get uh, some of that instant gratification, but you want it to be sustainable and you want it to last quite a while. And uh, that's that's a big reason for me being here is, you know, the, the, the faith that, and the commitment that the school has for me. Um, but on top of all that, what I what I see here, what potential we potentially have here. And, um, you know, that's 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 huge. And, and that's something that any program wants to have a you know, a, a little bit, you know, in terms of their overall success. And and here, just knowing the history of the program, knowing how simply how long the school has had football, um, you know that this school is hungry for for that. And uh, in terms of challenges to reach, you know, there's constant evaluation right now. And, and you know, I'm in a situation where um, I've only gotten to meet a handful of players and, and I'm hoping to mold what we currently have here and what Coach Hafner is going to do over the last 19 years. Um, to create that uh, that success in the future. That that really is something too, Coach, coming in for someone who's been there and had the longevity that uh, the previous coach has. Yeah, no, absolutely. And, and that's something where regardless of wins and losses, it's if somebody is at a program for that long, um, hats off to them. You know, I, I was at Avila as a player and, and a coach for a total of 14 years. So, you know, I know where, where kind of Todd's coming from and, um, it's not easy being anywhere, any work, any workplace or a place of employer for that long, obviously. And, um, you know, also with that, over those 19 years, there's a lot of years where there's on-field success and, and success isn't just on field, but, um, those are definitely things that as I've been here last few weeks, I've definitely kind of dove in and see what things have, in my opinion, have, have worked and which things haven't worked. Coach, uh, another thing you're familiar with is the Hart Conference as well. Most recently, uh, at as the head coach at, at Avila, and Avila was there in the Hart for a while, moved over to the KCAC. Talk about playing in the Hart Conference again. Yeah, I'm I'm excited for it. Um, you know, it, it it's a very it's a very tough conference. A lot of competition. Um, you know, for us specifically, Grandview is constantly in our minds. You know, as a rival, but on top of that, just simply that's that's who we that's who set the bar high. Um, Coach Willie and that program uh, and his father in that program, whatever they've done, uh, what they've been able to accomplish um, is has been amazing. And so for us, you know, during the interview process, that's that's a school I mentioned multiple times. And and this school wants to do whatever they can to get to that level, um, which isn't going to be in easy. It's not going to be instant, but uh, but they've set the bar super high um, last season. You know, in, in the KCAC, I dealt with, I believe, five new head coaches. And so I'm, I'm used to and accustomed to facing teams that I haven't gotten to see scheme and all that stuff, you know, years in, year out. And so um, excited for it. I'm sure it won't take too long to, to get your book up to speed on those Hart Conference teams. No doubt about that. Speaking now with Mark Benavides, who is the new head coach at William Penn here on the summit and Midwest sports net. And I encourage you, please take the time, like the video and share the video. We would appreciate that. Subscribe to the channel. It really does help coach. I would be remiss if we didn't talk just a little bit about your previous stop. We mentioned already at Avila and last season, a 10 win season for the first time in program history. You won the KCAC two of the last three years. And also last year, the Eagles made it to the postseason to the NAI national tournament for the first time. So uh, you're coming from a position of success. Yeah. Um, you know, last season w was definitely a, a whirlwind of emotions, of, of everything. You know, um, you know, started the season with the passing of a player, Justin Barbie, in a, in a car accident. And, and that obviously something you never wish you'd have to deal with as a, as a coach, as a player, teammate, whatever it is. And, um, you know, that was very difficult. But fortunately, we were able to build a culture where, you know, guys loved each other. Uh, guys were pushing each other to, to be successful. Um, our team was had a had a sole focus to go win conference championship and go make it to the playoffs. And 
uh, we were able to accomplish it. And just that bond and the brotherhood and, and the overall mindset we built was uh, truly something special. Knowing what you know, the history of Avila in the past, where where we were been or where we had been, where we were at whenever I was a player, compared to where what we had transitioned and created over the last few years, uh, was truly something special. Um, you know, I myself, um, you know, I, I kind of had some specific beliefs and and uh, different things when it came to institution and and um, you know, ultimately wish the guys there nothing but the best. Um, just something that I, I felt like I needed to change and, and needed to move. And um, so that's why I'm here. Well, Coach, I, I know school starts this next week, and so you probably haven't had a lot of time, as you mentioned, to get to, to visit with the, the team as much. That is coming up very soon. Talk about what you know about the team that is there right now. Yeah, uh, I've been able to, been fortunate to talk to a good amount of guys over the phone or text, um, obviously huddle messages, those different, different types of things. We've had a handful of guys that have gotten to swing by in the office as I've been here the last couple of weeks. And uh, I feel like a team that's that's very hungry. Um, I think as I as I evaluate uh, what happened last season, as I talk to more and more guys, I, I do think that a uh, vast majority of the team is on the same page of what needs to change, what needs to get fixed, um, which is exciting for me. And knowing some of the different things that have happened over the last few years and what ha la what happened last season, um, I'm very confident this team, uh, not to say we can obviously be there at Grandview's level instantly, right? But I'm very confident this team is hungry for uh, for change, hungry for a lot of work and effort to be put into it, um, and and hungry for new energy and and uh, enthusiasm. And so, um, you know, I'm I'm extremely excited, and, and I have a team meeting here coming up Tuesday. Um, we're definitely looking forward to finally meeting these guys face to face, having more of those uh, building more of those relationships and bonds with the current players on the team, and uh, really diving into what their overall experience at William Penn has been since they've been here. And what are things that they've loved about the previous coaching staff or, or program? What are things that they wish would have changed? Um, and really trying to create what we've got here based off of their experiences and, and what I think that we can change and, and do better. Coach, you talk about current players, and I know future players are, are something that uh, has to be on your mind as well. The recruiting process, which is different in 2023 than it was even in 2018, just five years ago. I mean, there's been a lot that has changed over that amount of time. Uh, you were announced as the head coach on December 22nd. So even for teams that make the playoffs, that's still roughly a month behind where you might have ordinarily been uh, a, as a head coach at a program. Talk about where you are in the recruiting process right now. Yeah, no, absolutely. Um, without a doubt, right now we are somewhat behind. But um, as I mentioned in my press conference yesterday, COVID has changed a lot of things for us. Transfer portal has changed a lot of things for us. Um, you know, COVID awarding a lot of people an extra year of eligibility. Um, and the transfer portal, I mean, it's it's a constant trickle down, you know, from Division One, FBS, FCS, Division II, uh, NEI, D3, all these different levels. Um, obviously, we're not Alabama. We're not Clemson. We're not those schools. And they're, they're going to get first dibs. And then it consistently trickles down, FCS schools, D2 schools. And so even for us, um, the timeline has been pushed back to an extent. You know, I would have loved to have been in a million high schools and not in the state of Iowa over November. I simply wasn't able to. We've had our staff reached out to everybody here recently. Um, and for us, there are still dozens and dozens of very, very talented football players and very awesome people that we'd love to have in the program that um, we're doing what we can to blitz the area right now then then continue to look on out-of-state athletes as well. I mean, um, I would reach, reached out to a um, colleague of mine that coaches high school in, in Houston, and they've got a ton of guys still available that haven't really had a whole lot of interest. And so that's something in which us as a program, we just got to be strategic behind it, figure out where we can get kids that are going to be a good fit for our program, not just on the field, um, and um, and and get those guys. Ultimately, players are the ones that are going to win games. And so if we want to have more success on the field, we've got to be strategic about it, be selective about it, and make sure we're getting kids that, that are uh, going to fit what we're trying to accomplish here. Well, Coach, I, I I know you want to be in those high schools as well, and and I I look forward to hearing more about that because Iowa obviously is a, a great place for NAI football and and a good hotbed for talent there for NAI football. I wanted to ask you one more thing really quickly, and I'm so thankful for the time that you're spending with us today. Coming into 2023, obviously you're no stranger to the head coach position, and you have things in mind. We've talked before about goals and plans and as you mentioned earlier, sustainable success, something that's that's for the long term. What should we expect to see as as we're watching William Penn football in 2023? What should we see on the field? 
a big one's going to be energy and enthusiasm. Um, you know, we've got to change some things here, but I want to make sure I want to make sure overall when somebody comes to William Penn, they're going to enjoy their overall experience here. Again, it's not all just about wins and losses, but enjoying their overall experience. And then on top of that, I want to have a team that's going to have confidence. It's going to try to overcome adversity and have, have fight in them. Um, you know, watching some of the games from a year ago, um, you know, I don't want to have, I don't want to have our guys in a position where they're on the sideline, not paying attention or not being in. I don't want to have, have it to where we're, we're down by two touchdowns in the fourth quarter. And there's no confidence that we can come back and win games. Um, a big part of our success at the previous institution I was at were halftime adjustments where when we're down, overcoming adversity, understanding that we can we can push through it. And that's something that we definitely want to instill in these guys um, very early in the process. All right, Coach Mark Benavidez, the new head football coach for the William Penn Statesman. Coach, we will be following you all this year and so thankful that you took some time with us here in January to talk about uh, your new opportunity, the challenges ahead, and, and uh, what we look forward to seeing at William Penn. Thank you so much, sir. God bless you. Thank you for being with us here on the Summit. Thanks for having me. Go Statesman.